All right, guys, I'm super excited because today we're opening up some stuff that is going to go to the MR2's new, I mean, it basically is the MR2's new engine is what we're opening up in these boxes right here. Um, so just going to go ahead and get right into it. So as you guys know, the MR2's motor is currently in the router seat and uh, we could fix the old Routacy's motor, you know, get a new block and stuff put together and put that back into the Routacy. But instead of doing that, we're just going to go ahead and put a whole new engine together for the MR2 bottom up. So to start off with, uh, we got this head right here. So this is a stock port head and we got this all put together with new Ferreira components. So just like the head that's currently on the Routacy right now, uh, when we swapped it out of the MR2 into the Routacy, we used the same exact head and it's been doing really good on the Routacy. This is the same head setup we have on uh, Roman's car as well. So this is just a stock K20 A2 head with 105 pound Freya valve springs, titanium retainers, and uh, all Freya valves. So um, we just had to swap the intake manifold over to this head and put the drag cartel 2-2 cams back onto this. And then our head will be all put back together and complete. And then in this box right here, this is our first little piece of the bottom end. Our first four pieces actually. So inside right here, we have our pistons. These are Tron pistons. And I think Roman's running these in his car as well too, right? Yep. These are like the outlaw Same. pistons. Barry's the man. Is that who did them, Barry? Yep. Okay, so check that out. Here we got our rings, and uh, what are those guys right there, Brent? Those are for like the wrist pin? Yep. <clears throat> wrist pin spacers. The button. Dang. The buttons, right? There we go. Look at that. They're so little. With the PFI logo on them too. Oh snap! Look at that. Ooh, those look good. Some PFI Tron pistons, and I mean these boys are rated for whatever you can throw at them. All of it. I mean these are beefy girls. Oh. That's your pedal, pal. That's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Glad I didn't do that. Oh. <laughs> At least my Coke made it. <laughs> At least your Coke doesn't fall. Check that out. Yeah. The PFI billet piston. Did he machine this down just a little bit? Mm -hmm. I believe. Because these were like 11 to 1, and we just wanted a little bit less compression. Yep. So we just turned them down a tiny amount. But yeah, there That's is exactly our pistons. It. For the new MR2 engine. They look awesome. And then in this box, yeah, to connect to our pistons, we have our rods. And uh, I mean, a lot of you guys that you know put some motors together, you might already know what kind of rods these are. But for those of you who don't, you're gonna see right here. This is the first time we have done a rod out of this material in one of our motors, except for the Prelude, but it already came with them. So that'll be the first time we're assembling one. And then Roman did this to his car as well. But this will be a first for me. So in here, these are from Speed Factory Racing. These are BME K24 billet aluminum rods rated for Woo! all the ponies. Check that out. And that does look good. Literally anything you can throw at them. This is top of the line, you know, same style rod they would run in like a top fuel car. You know, it's the same idea, but for a little K-series Honda motor. That's it. I mean, they're pushing over 1,500 horsepower on these things. It's um, nice. They're like little so, shock absorbers too, you know, they yeah, dampen the, some of the... Yeah, the material is softer, so yep. they can stuff. take more RPM as well. You can turn them harder. And, you know, I was thinking about doing the steel rod setup again, but we were talking, like, might as well send it, do aluminum rod motor, try to go all out with the MR2, and, you know, Brent still... Very confident we could street race. Or, oh, I mean, yeah. Not street race. <laughs> we could uh, yes. drive it down the road. A lot of people say Absolutely. don't drive aluminum rods down the street, but, you know. It's a, it's the 2020. Yeah, tech has know, changed. The tech bro. is there. Yeah. If I want to drive the MR2 down the road on some aluminum rods, we're going to do it. Yep. Obviously, the MR2 is not a dedicated street car as is anyways, but if I need to drive it, it won't be a big deal. But, yeah, we got the baddest rods you can get for the MR2's motor, so I'm really excited. I'm stoked. So, I mean... You're going to see what that's going to look like all put together. Woo! Billet aluminum rod. Tron CFI yes. piston. She's going to be ready to rock. So, let's get those guys out of the way. And today's not an engine building day. It's just kind of showing <laughs> what what's to come. Yeah, I know. It's coming, crank. it's coming in hot, though. And Sketchy, you're going to go run over and get the crank here in a minute. Yes. But we actually have to get the whole motor and then rip the crank out of it. But that'll be I volunteer for the job. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you were hired, so... 
I know Emilio's shoulders hurt, so he can't help me lift stuff right now. So I'm gonna. I got you, fam. So we need Sketchy's muscles <laughs> on top of my huge muscles to <laughs> get it in there. So now for the, the main course right here. Oh, you guys can't see the logo on the side, so let me, let me fix that for you. Oh. AR Fab, starting sleeves. This is from our boy Howard. AR Fab, that's what the sticker says right here. Uh, he does sleeve work for all kinds of Honda blocks, probably other blocks as well, but I think he's well known for his Honda stuff. Um, he uh, gave us a really good discount on this block and we're still really good friends with the guys over at CSS, but we really wanna push the MR2 to comfortably over a thousand horsepower. The original plan when we first did the CSS stuff was to keep it you know, right around a thousand and under, but uh, seeing what the car is capable of, we wanna to try to push it and see if we can even go after the MR2 world record. So to back up those aluminum rods, we have ourselves our very first fully sleeved block closed deck. Uh, we do have the LA sleeve block in the minivan right now, but it's an open sleeve deck. This one is closed deck, so it will be rated for uh, even more power. The yeah, Howard said he wanted us to do an unboxing video to show how well they package the blocks in there. So we got all that foam on top. Dang, they did a really good job packaging that up. Look at all the foam around there. So we got our AR Fab stickers, darting sleeves. Block in there. It sure is. It's coming. And it's heavy. Heavy. <laughs> two people. <laughs> two people. I'll get this one on. Oh, we could have Shane just. Shane has a method. Shane that punches through. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. I can't power that little thing. It's like Christmas for Kyle. No. Christmas for Kyle. I mean, this came on my birthday. I just haven't got to open it yet. So this was my birthday present. To yourself? Yeah, to myself. <laughs> I got That's how all my gifts are to you. <laughs> all right, ready? I'm gonna, I'm gonna close up for the reveal. Oh, Look at man. that RA. Yeah, it's mirror finish. Look at that. She is just about ready to go. The only thing we have to do is Take her over to the machine shop and bore it. Bore it to match our new pistons. Nice there it sleeves. is. Yep. This is a dart and sleeve K24 done by Howard over at AR Fab. Huge shout out to him. If you guys need any sleeve and stuff, you know, hit him up. That is yeah, that's pretty, pretty awesome. Work right there. Yeah, that that's is awesome. Really that's good gorgeous. So I'm yeah. super pumped to get this thing together and put into the MR2. I mean, we were just waiting on the block and Pistons and rod, I mean, like I said, full motor pretty much, but now yeah. that we have everything ready to go, we can get this thing together pretty fast. So one thing we just uh, saw on the paper that this block came with though, is they do call for a Cometic head gasket for the brand. We usually run like JE Pro Seals. So I actually might have to wait if we don't have a Cometic to put the whole engine together. So that might take a couple days, but other than that, we got the big chunks here. This motor will be easily capable of like 12, 1300 horsepower. Yeah, we'll see what the MR2 does at 40, 50 pounds, yeah, 55 of, pounds. Instead of 30 on the twins. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. I'm really excited. Now that yeah. we have the uh, speed sensor and the transmission, we can hopefully set up the boost by gear so we don't have to wheelie like crazy. Yeah. Maybe put some like height sensors in the front to pull timing. We'll, we'll get her sorted, but I really want to try to go for the MR2 record because there's a lot of guys out there getting their MR2s together. And they are. They're, they're starting to fly. Fast. So it's I awesome. It's going to be a matter of time before they're in like the deep eights with MR2s. I agree. I don't know if I'll ever be able to hold the record for a long time, but if we can go after it and possibly beat it for a little bit, it would be awesome. But <clears throat> I want to just put a whole bunch more time into the MR2, get it dialed in. And now we're pretty much using the best of the best parts to get it done. So there she is. I can put it Here's up how light that is. You're so strong, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Good old sketchy. Ooh. There she is. Darting sleeves. It's awesome. I'm excited. This is our first one. Yeah, here so you go, bro. I'm gonna try it out, send it. We are gonna be reusing the head studs from the other engine. We still have the uh, L19s from the other block. So we'll get that thing thrown together. I'm gonna ship the other one out and I've already talked to the guys at CSS and they're gonna help me get that one back up and going as a spare. Cat's out of the bag. 
Meow. This is gonna be. Is it dead? This is gonna be sweet. So I'm. I'm, I'm pretty pumped, pumped, man. Pumped, we win rock K series. Kyle stepping go. it up again. Yep. Now we're really gonna have the moon tune in her. Yep. I mean we're. I want like. 170 plus out the back. In the At MR2. least, right? We need to be dropping 170s. I mean, we've been 164. Just a little more power. I want to be able to go to Bannermere and get the 175 mile an hour club sticker. I'm good with that. I don't think I ever need to go faster than that. Yeah, I say that now, but. Until you go that. Yeah. Well, okay, like 175. Then you're like 195. Then mm -hmm. you're 210. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I do. Yeah, that's up there, dude. <laughs> Let's try to get to 170 first. We're close. Yeah, I better save the 200s for the minivan. <laughs> <laughs> get the salt flats? Yeah. Uh, we're in the quarter. Well, there she is, boys. Ready to rock. Sketchy killer. So we just showed you guys what we have in store for the new MR2 engine, but we do not have a crank, so we ran over to the storage unit real quick, and we found a K24 A4 bottom end right here appears to be in good shape so we're gonna go ahead and load this thing up i just brought sketchy with me we do have a whole bunch of cranks over here but i don't know how to tell uh, what they're out of just by looking at them it doesn't look like these are labeled i guarantee there's probably a k24 <laughs> crank out of all those look at all those things but i just don't know off the top of my head so this one looks uh good to go i'm gonna throw this out here that is a lot lighter than a v8 block <laughs> yeah you need a few more people just to come and lift a v8 block up into the oh, bed of a God, truck yeah. probably at least some skinnier dudes like us yeah we can lift a four cylinder much but... muscle here but at least we can pick this up <laughs> yeah this one isn't too bad <laughs> you know i think I, I think i can get this side one-handed dude just go right here on the idler oh yeah we're cheap oh look yeah. at that all right i don't know about this <laughs> <laughs> i gotta set it down for this and three sorry i'm just putting you straight to work that's all right that's what i'm here for <laughs> <laughs> build my car and Put that back together and help you out. That's 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 legit. Yeah, well, there she is. I'm always down. You guys should. do plenty for me, so. Yeah, appreciate it. Anytime, baby. So we got the K24 back at the shop and we were gonna wait until tomorrow to pull the crank out of it, but since it's pretty much all the way apart, we just figured we would go ahead and do it now. And Sketchy can work on his very first four cylinder. Oh boy. He's starting to learn about K series, so we just went ahead and pulled all of these uh bolts loose right here so this girdle is ready to yeah, ready to come out, be pried apart so yeah i already kind of pried that side a little bit so if you just stick that pry bar right in here see there's this little pry spot right there oh yeah yeah just That's try pretty... to you kind of have to get the corner of it. yeah there, oh, there she go. goes yeah just get in there get in there real deep black man he's about to case swap sketchy bird <laughs> <laughs> that would that hurt some feelings <laughs> oh there you go there's He's another coming. spot over here too if you want. Yeah, now just get that corner. That right, there. right there. We already got the uh, rod goes. caps pulled. Yeah, and then go ahead and just yeah, lift her right off. Oh, yep. There oh, she is. Look crank. at that. Look at that. Just set that guy down right there and Would we you just have ourselves that? a fresh crank. <laughs> Would you just look at the bearings and stuff look really good. So that's a good sign. This thing's probably ready to go. Definitely didn't have any knocks or nothing. They look perfect but i'm still gonna go ahead and drop it off tomorrow at yeah. our uh, machine shop just have them polish it make sure it's not bent so you just pull it up from here yeah i mean you can just grab this both ends. You just grab right there and there and just kind of wiggle her out oh and then when you set it down stand it up on that end i'm gonna can i take this home and treasure it since i take it out <laughs> yeah we'll we'll get another one okay <laughs> that's, you can have it <laughs> we could get one that's and make a nice up. lamp i'd make a, i'd still make a lamp out of that <laughs> But there we go, guys. Have ourselves a fresh new crank for the uh, MR2's engine. Like I said, we'll get it dropped off tomorrow. I'm sure it will check out fine. And then we can go ahead and start assembling this thing. And we still have to get a head gasket figured out. So we've been looking around. We'll get that on the way as soon as we can. But we can at least... <laughs> yeah, we're, we're I think we were gone for an hour and I haven't found one yet. Yeah, a lot of places are out of stock. So well, yeah, Cometic's one of those that are still shut down, it seems like. Because of all COVID, the COVID stuff. And everybody is out of stock. Um, yeah, it says right it say here... about an OE? 
like an OE gasket. Yeah. Well, it says Darton East recommends the use of Kometic MLS head gaskets. Okay, so I'll text him in the morning and see if there's a secondary option or if he maybe has Kometics in stock or knows of somebody that does. Yeah, I just messaged Tumble actually because I know they yeah, carried a lot when I was down there with the MR2. I've got a stack of JEs. I've got probably 200 JE Pro Seals, so if you need them, hit me up. But <laughs> not Kometics. Yeah, so we just got to find a head gasket. That's the only unfortunate thing. But uh, we can at least get the bottom end put together, hopefully, in the next couple days. And then we'll just get the head and stuff on once we get a gasket track down. But uh, yeah, there's everything. And yeah, we just went ahead and got the crank done tonight. So we're ready to assemble the bottom end, but that will be for another day. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for tonight. I just wanted to show you what we have in store for the MR2. I'm super excited to, uh, you know, get this motor together for her and see how this thing does. I'm pumped, and I should probably kind of mention why Sketchy's here. He's down getting Sketchy Vert put back together. Yes, yes we you guys are. at PFI are helping him out with that just across the street, so he has his car and stuff getting put back together right now, which is awesome. Oh, I can't wait. These yeah. guys are, these are guys are killing it for me. I mean, they're, they're the, Reason why it's getting done so fast and so soon. So he was giving yeah, up so that's, on it, bro. I was. He was putting it away. We can't let him do away that. For a year or two, was, and Jamie's like, "That's not happening." Yeah. So he's We're down here out. hanging out for what, like, probably a week or so. A little week, a little bit longer, longer than a week, maybe. A little two, bit longer maybe. than a week. Yeah. Just we got some parts that are straggling <laughs> behind that we're waiting on, but yeah. it's coming together real quick. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, they got like the engine and stuff today. And then I think so. after we get it done, do some pulls out. Front against the. You mean out in Mexico? Out in Mexico, yeah. Front of Mexico, <laughs> out in front of Mexico, <laughs> against the minivan. I don't know about that one, dude. <laughs> that thing's fast. <laughs> Are you liking that shirt? I'm loving this thing, man. You like the, the snapped axle shirt. shirt? I like that yeah. shirt. Yeah, I definitely lived up to this shirt. This weekend. <laughs> yeah, you destroyed that. <laughs> I destroyed that axle. So. I think I'm a believer now, though. I think this is my next route that I'm going. In the SRT in an srt Seriously. not in the curse you not the curse it? but into not a different one that you jamie's had this? i'm gonna no i'm just gonna do the same build dude i saw oh. a comment on a video and someone says dude that ko wheel drive stuff sick i'm doing it in my srt4 and i thought it was like you commenting but it was someone else <laughs> somebody else so yeah so you might I, have some competition i do if they're another, serious i do have another srt4 that we were doing something else with but i'm selling all of that stuff right now and changed my mind to do this after one day of driving a K sequential all-wheel drive car. Saying we, if we let Sketchy drive the minivan or something, he's going to put a K in Sketchy Bert. Dude, I probably will. I, I don't even <laughs> want to drive it. I don't even want to ride because I'm going to be addicted to it. <laughs> I mean, I do want to ride, but... <laughs> you know the funny part about all this stuff? Hmm. We've got all this nice stuff in this motor and this badass motor. And we've still got two eBay turbos on it. That's true. Still well, twin works. eBay turbos. <laughs> You don't have precision. We'll see what they do on 40 plus pounds. Yeah. <laughs> They're barely making 30 and it's already done a, it's yeah. already done a 9-0 at 164. Yeah. You run, yeah, you did run a 9-0, huh? Yeah, 9-0. I'm knocking on the door of that 8. And that 9-0. This is going to get us to the left. 8, boys. <laughs> no, and that 9-0 slips right here. Actually, the 9-0 wasn't a 154. Let me give you guys a quick recap. The 9-0 wasn't <laughs> Just even a great pass. I, this would have been a solid 890, 880. Look at this. It was a 9-0. 150. A 150 because I missed fourth for a split second. Did a 145, 60 foot. 5'8. 5'80. A 122 at the eighth. That was an easy 890. Because okay, so you look at any you look, you look at any of my other slips and the MR2's trapping well into the 160s. Any of yeah. them. Any of them. And of course on the 90, this one would have had it for sure. What's your fastest eighth? My fastest eighth is uh 5'6. You're two tenths off of that. Two tenths off of that. This one. This was my eight, but I, I missed it, 100%. That was an 890. Yeah. But I, I messed up fourth. You messed up fourth. Oh, well, it's coming, though. It's coming now, buddy. Those slips are, these slips are here to remind me. I'm surprised. We're going to tape them to your wall. I feel, like everyone yeah. for, I feel like everyone forgets about what the MR2 has done. It's been very consistent deep nines. Yeah, it lives on my brain all the time. I just can't remember. I've seen a lot of people commenting about the van recently on other posts, and they're like, man, those guys can't do anything, like, build something that's fast the van only goes 12s but they forget about all the other at least nine second cars we've had van, we're not that's nines aren't like super fast but it's respectable the van for going, what we're doing the van going 12s is also like that was on race week went 11 8 thank was, you yeah that was, <laughs> that was basically on wastegate we didn't have a lot of boost in it we're trying to drive it for seven days and race it for five days so you weren't beating on it 
you yep. were being conservative with it. Yeah, you weren't put on kill mode to break it. Well, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for tonight. Hope you were excited for the new build to come for the MR2. Hoping to get her back up and going soon. It's going to be sweet, so we'll see you later.